What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Peas World. Let's get straight into it. Like, I don't care if I get fired because of this. There's no way I would. But, like, if any of my managers are watching this, keep scrolling. Mm. There's a few things that, like, different people who, different customers have said to me that have made me think, like, girl, you're out of Chili's. One, lemon in your water. This is a Chili's. I like lemon in my water. What about y'all? I think lemon in the water is good. It's not going to make the water better, and it's not going to make the cup clean. Two, you want your steak butterflied? Am I saying that right? I don't know what that is. You're out of Chili's. I'm going to tell them what to do. They're not going to do it. And while we're at it, three, I'm asking you how you want your steak cooked. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, a, it's a nicety. This is me being polite. Um, you're going to get what you get. It will either be bleeding or overdone. Like, just, <laughs> why are you getting a steak here? Um, three, you're telling me the bathroom's dirty? What isn't? This is a Chili's. So many times a day, I just want to say, hey, you're at Chili's. Hey, guess where you are? You're at Chili's. I got fired for it. Um. <laughs> There's just some things that you should record and keep in your camera roll and not put on the internet, bro. My managers did not keep scrolling. At least your video got 93,000 likes, right? Bro, that is hilarious, bro. I mean, I hate to say it, but like she kind of... She's gonna self-sabotage herself there. You really kind of asked for it. sent home. You know? <laughs> what did you expect? In a black truck. After saying I was done being a hoe. That's tough. Imagine now seeing your girl in the comments. That would be absolutely brutal, bruv. There's no way. There's no way. Damn, I miss the game. Brutal. Huh? Girl, why are you tripping? You can now go hang out with your hoe-ass friends and peace! Like, you're single. Remember that outfit that if you... What? Put on, you were seeking attention, yada, yada, yada. You could put it on now because you're single. Ah! I'm so proud of you, sis. Congratulations. Oh, my single women keep women single. Misery loves company, bruv. I got no more OB home at this time or else. Dun, dun, dun. You don't even got to come home. You're single. You can stay out. Like, the same be single ready. She's a runner, she's a track star. How about new? And Mingo, no, it should have been single and free. Single and free. I don't even want to mingle. I am traumatized. I just want to be free. Like, it really gives inmate vibes. It gives jail vibes. Like, I am so sorry, inmate number 227. Stand up. You are free to go. You are free to go. I'm not sharing my tweets. What? I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries. From car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases. Which is why I want to talk about more... Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan and Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. I am not sharing my 20s with a baby. I refuse. Once I become a mom, I'll become, I'll be a mom for the rest of my life. So why rush it? I am not sharing my 20s with a child. I am not sharing my 20s with a child. A child will find me in my 30s. And if you say, oh no, then you'll be too old to give birth. I'll pray the prayer of Hannah and God will grant me a child. But I am not sharing these years of my life with a child. I am not willing to shift and do what and delay because of a child. So I am not sharing my 20s with a child and these. I had baby fever the whole year, but I just had to hold it in because I am not having, a, I am not sharing whether I- She almost went back to factory settings there. <laughs> she had some of that baby fever. She's like, you know what? It would be good to have a child. But then she went back to those modern women ways, man. That's the, that programming runs deep. I afford it whether I do not. I am not sharing my 20s with no baby. Angi bad. Look, we discuss. I mean, here's the thing, man. You're supposed to have a child at that age. That's when you're supposed to have kids. 
Because there's nothing wrong with having a child at that age. It's if anything, having a child younger, like, you'll be an empty nester in your 40s instead of your 60s. Well, half past three, ain't slept a fucking wink. So, well, at least my bed's made. And all the lot are still sleeping. Hey, shout out to this guy for being a trucker. Keeping the shelves stocked. Keeping the products at the stores. We appreciate you guys, man. For real. And this is what happens when you work away. And they're working a lot of fucking hours to provide for your family just to find out that they've been fucking cheating. Mm. Yeah. Work my fucking ass off for my family. Brutal. They found out last night why it's been fucking cheating. Yeah. Uh, so fuck knows now. That's it. That's, that's got to be rough, dude. Working 10, 12 hour days to come home and find out that your wife's been bronging another dude. That's got to be absolutely brutal. Because you're out there working, you know, as hard as you can. Th those days aren't easy, man. Those days aren't easy. 10, 12 hours on the road, bro. It's hard enough to even drive like three, four hours on the road. When's the last time you guys did like a 10 hour road trip or something like that, bro? It's not easy, especially in a big rig where nobody, ex like, nobody respects big rigs on the road. Um, so that's got to be brutal. Feel bad for the guy. All right. If you're a single lesbian and you hear what I'm about to say, let me just say this. Do well, not for the sake of this video, I will be identifying as a single lesbian. Stop the cap. Drop your pin, your location, your age, your dating status, what you're looking for. I don't want to hear that right now. Okay. I am trying. I'm looking for like real answers only. All right. Why is it that single lesbians consistently say that they cannot find each other? and the dating pool is dry. Here's the reason why, let's get into the statistics. Lesbian marriages, let's look at lesbian marriage divorce rates versus hetero, let's see if we can't find something here. The lesbian divorce rate is 34%, the heterosexual divorce rate is 19%. It's because even women, when they date women, they still can't be happy. That's why. You guys will find each other and still not be fulfilled. Why is that? Now, if you're from a small town, I completely understand that there might not be that many queer people where you live, and I get it. But, like, I, I lived in L.A., San Francisco, Atlanta, now in Tampa, Philly, like, all these places where everybody's saying the same thing. And so, he here's what I'm seeing. Y'all can tell me how y'all feel about this. If we're just at home, we don't congregate. When we do go to, like, day parties, clubs, bars, whatever, we show up with our friends we talk to and dance and drink with them all night and then we go home. People aren't talking to each other. I was just- So wait, are you saying that lesbians aren't approaching each other? Is that, is that what you're saying? Is that what's going on here? Even when lesbians are in a place where they should congregate and they should get to know each other and they should- okay. So what's the deal? Like, what do we actually want? What is like the best way for women to actually meet and be able to- Going to school, university, a friend group, family, but most of the time, at least more traditional conservative families probably don't want to promote a lesbian relationship. Personally, if I had a kid, I wouldn't care if they were gay or lesbian. That would not matter to me. What would matter to me is if they had morals, ethics, and took care of themselves and didn't hurt people. I don't really care what your sexual orientation is. To make connections and find each other because people are trying, right? There's platforms out there. People are trying to connect people. There's a billion posts on TikTok where it's like... Well, the thing is, is what she's going through right now is what a lot of men go through. She looks like she's more masculine-leaning or masculine-facing, so it seems like she's trying to play more of a, a role of the guy. Well, welcome to our world. You must approach these women, and if you don't want that, I guess look more feminine. Like, drop your location, drop what you're looking for. Like, does that actually work? Has anyone actually ever responded to one of those posts? And you're I feel like good. a lot of women try to rewrite history, too. Yeah. We say okay. When we say rewrite history, what do you mean? Um, they have this thing where they always talk about like black women, like we're so docile, or we be pushed over and run over by men, and we never had a voice. And I don't know in what history they'd have been black men, the only group of men that ever gave their women a voice. Mm. Y'all have always listened to us. We've always been included. And then it's just also kind of like one of the things where <laughs> it's so funny to me because. They talk about how um, men are, you know, so 
emotionally detached and this, that, and the third are so mean and so ruthless. And when you think about have you sat down and talked to an older black woman like your grandma? Yeah. Yeah. Do she watch her tongue? For the most part, yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, my folk, my aunties, I'm from I'm from the country. I'm from the Delta. They don't they don't give a f about what they say. They don't watch their tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna say right before my grandma passed, she was a complete savage, bro. She would cuss you out up and down. She did not give a darn. They talk to who? Anybody. If they feel a certain type of way, they get it off their chest. Mm. Mm -hmm. They don't hold their tongue. Now, they may, um, they're more likely to not say nothing at all than to bite their tongue. Mm. And that's a huge difference. Oh, they yeah, probably, that's what I was talking about. They probably not say nothing at all to avoid what it could be versus bite their tongue. Look, you guys know there's a lot. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, my grandma was spicy by the time she was getting in her old age. She didn't give a darn what nobody thought, man. She was a complete savage. But that's also why everybody loved my grandma, because she just kept it a buck. She was so real. Why on God's green earth did this woman just text me and say, I fell asleep. Can we reschedule? You fell asleep? You fell asleep? <laughs> You fell asleep and you didn't set an alarm? Guys, let's unbox it because all this is actually going back to the store. Might I add that the reason that I chose- I like her braids. Cass got some braids like this. I like her braids. To go on a picnic is because I have a leg injury right now. And so I can't really walk that much. So I'm like, picnics don't require a lot of walking. We're gonna go on a picnic. I just left around the store. Oh, I'm trying not to cuss. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm trying not to cuss because my mama followed me on this app. Ladies, well, you're feeling what we've had to go through, right? Planning things, getting things prepared, and then a woman saying at the last minute, Oh, I'm too busy. I can't make it. Darn. I'm just going to have to cancel. Ladies, we have to go through that all the freaking time. It's so hard to have sympathy because it's like, bro, you know how many times I've been stood up? So many. I think the part that men don't understand when it comes to women with certain standards or women that know exactly what it is that they want, they don't recognize that some of us who have our set list, our set standard, we know exactly what it is that we want because we've already failed. We've already failed. We've already tried marriage and it didn't work. So now she's a runner. She's a track star. Now I want what I want. I know what I want. And I understand that by you want what you want, you know what you want. But the thing is, you don't qualify for it. That's how. That's what it is. Most of the time, these women get older and their standards get higher. When the opposite is true, as you get older, your standards should go the other way. You can't have more mileage, more baggage, more trauma, kids, a bunch of failed relationship, and expect the next guy to come pay a higher price for a used vehicle. It's just, it's just the reality. Me staying within what I want and not willing to waver, that I might be alone, and I'm okay with that because I want my. But you're on TikTok crying about it, huh? I want more than I want to be in a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? No. I understand what you're saying. I don't want a relationship above anything. I want to be happy above anything. And I understand that. And I'm willing to accept the fact that my happiness might be me by myself. And I'm okay with that. And I think. Then why are you on TikTok talking about it? If you're okay with it, then who cares? <laughs> Who cares? It's just, they don't understand the the irony of talking about not needing someone. It's like, if you don't need someone, why are you talking about it? Why are you worried about it? I think a lot of men don't recognize that a lot of women have um, accepted that, that idea that, hey, if someone else is not willing to um, live up to my standards, I'm okay with being alone because most men are not willing to be alone. Most men will settle. That's why you see them hit 40, 50, and then they're like rushing, like trying to get married, trying to get married to any any woman that would have them because they spent their years full out line, ripping and running the streets, um, not being kind to the women in their lives, even though they've had women bend, bend over backwards. I love it when a woman talks about her Bob Laura. You're talking about the men that you come in contact with. Personally, I treat women with respect. Now, not back in the day, um, not in college, not in high school, but I was a kid, dude. Like, come on. But nowadays, utmost respect for women. My mom, Cass, like, come on, bro. Words for them. And then, because 
men fare better in marriage than women. It's it's a fact. No matter how much men say marriage is Men fare better? What are you talking about? If you divorce me, you get all my stuff. What are you talking about? Not a benefit to them. It's literally proven. Like there's studies on it. Like I'm not gonna argue with it. Like there's studies on it that men benefit more from marriage. You know what? Let's look up said studies. Who benefits more from marriage? Men derive greater health benefits from marriage than women do. Okay, AKA the gender role hypothesis first emerged in the 1970s. Wait, isn't a hypothesis something that's not proven though? Both men and women benefit from marriage. Here we go. But the, oh, goodness gracious. But the health benefits of marriage are now more equally distributed among the two genders. Would you look at that? Health. In the past, recent uh, research suggested that men derived greater health benefits from marriage than women. However, more recent studies find similar health outcomes for both genders. Married fathers tend to earn more than unmarried men. Okay, that's cool. Married men have better mental health and fewer health conditions. Okay, married women, that is. Recovery from illness. Married women recover faster from illness. Survival. Married men with prostate or bladder cancer survive longer than separated or widowed men. The idea that men benefit more from marriage than women is known as the gender role hypothesis. This hypothesis was based on the idea that women were economically dependent on their husbands and confined to the home. However, most households today have both spouses working and gender roles have become more equal. So we just debunked that. We, we did one quick search and debunked it, but let's hear more. The only thing men used to bring to a, a relationship is finances, and that's no longer the case, and y'all have not evolved yet, so... <laughs> Tell me you hate men without telling me you hate men. Yeah, so... She been burned, she been burned. Poor girl. I feel bad for her. I, I do feel bad for her. Because what happens with these women, at least from what I've seen from the videos I react to... Loki, does somebody want some beef jerky? Free? Sit. Wait... Free. Go to your place. Is these women, these women get in failed relationship after failed relationship after failed relationship and think that the men that they are picking are what the dating pool is derived of. When in reality, you're just not good at picking men. You pick bad men. And when you pick bad men after bad man, no wonder you think all men are bad. But the thing is, the common denominator on all of this, ladies, is you. If the common denominator is you, you gotta take some introspection and say, oh, maybe it's something I'm doing. Maybe it's some way, excuse me, maybe it's some way that I'm lacking in qualifying a man. Maybe I'm missing the mark. But I feel like most women don't ask for help when it comes to, hey, how do I qualify a better guy? Well, you get a guy that, you know, isn't looking to just run the streets. If he says he just wants to be friends, more than likely he just wants to be friends. If he tells you he's not looking for something serious, Take it at that. He's not looking for something serious. But a lot of these women will hear men say things like that. Well, I just want to be friends or I'm not looking for anything serious. And they'll get in long four-year situationships with them and then say men ain't nothing. Like, what? Are you dumb? Stupid. He told you he just wanted you as a booty call and then you're trying to turn this man from a booty call to a husband. He said he didn't want to get married. I told Cash from the jump when I met her, I'm looking for a serious relationship and I'm looking for a girl to be a fiance and soon to be a wife and then a mother. I was very upfront with her. Like, I'm looking for a relationship. In the past girls that I had messed with, I, was, I told all of them, I ain't looking for something serious because, I don't know, Chad, let me know what you think about this. I think from, like, the first couple times you meet a girl, you know whether or not you'd want to be in a relationship with her. Even if she's hot. As soon as I hear her talk, I'm like, oh my goodness. Because the thing is, ladies, your appearance is, your appearance is what gets my attention. Your personality is what keeps my attention. But your character is what makes us fall in love with you. So if you don't have any character, more than likely we're going to let you go out the door. And ladies, if you put all of your value and your worth and all of your effort and how you see yourself as a woman and your value of what you bring to a relationship in just your appearance, you're, you're lacking two-thirds of that equation. And those, those are the big ones. I've always said this, man. Your looks is what gets you a ticket to the dance, but your personality is what gets you a date afterwards. A lot of you ladies just lead with, I look good. I bring the poom poom. But in reality, that's not what's keeping a man. Because if it did, you'd have a man right now. <laughs> but you don't. Shots fired. It's just what's so crazy to me. I just wish, like, and I know we have some women that watch the channel. I think we have, like, 6% of women. I wish we had more. Because, like, if we can fix this stuff, we can get back into being in relationships. I think we're better together, and together we're better. And I think we're going to see a big movement. We see MGTOW right now, but soon I think we're going to see WGTOW, women going their own way. With the 4B movement and all this stuff happening right now, like, 
things are going to look a little bit crazier in 2025. So buckle up, gents. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's like, I just want another beef jerky, Dad. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two ebooks, The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style. They make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.